Kelvin. Nice going? to see you again. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? I'm very well, thank you very much. I just wanted to talk to you about Cyrano because I love it so much. And I've seen it again since I interviewed you last uh, in Christmas time. So it Christmas time, right? Yeah, it was mad, oh. mad. Uh, congratulations on the film, though. It's, it's, it's wonderful. How have you taken to all the responses so far? Because it seems to be getting a lot of love. Oh, I'm just really grateful that people respond to the movie. You know, it, we took a while before we actually came out and released it, but um, it's been worth it. It's been really sweet. I like it. I get to see Instagram covers of like the music on on Instagram, and I'm like, oh, okay, I never thought that would happen. So that's cool. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that because it seems to have become the soundtrack. It seems to become, I guess, because of the people that produced it, wrote the songs, it seems to become a bit of a phenomenon into itself. But that must be fun for you to to see people doing covers, even like celebrities doing covers now as well. It's really bizarre, you know? <laughs> I just like, we were singing these songs and, and we were freezing <laughs> in Little Italy in a pandemic, taking a mask off and then trying to be like, you know, trying to be artists. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, it's really beautiful to know that it's resonating with people and that people are having fun with the movie. Yeah, and that trifecta of you and Peter and, and Halle is, is wonderful on, on screen. It must it was, must have been a fantastic experience to work with, like Peter ex especially, because he gives so much to that performance. He gives so much. It's incredible to watch him just like show up to work every day and just like emote with so such such a micro little like movements and stuff like that. You just kind of go, how are you doing this? And he won't tell me. And that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you briefly in the Elvis trailer as as BB King, which is your next big thing. What was what was that like? I mean, playing BB King, even for a small part of a film about Elvis, that must have been a dream, but also a big challenge, I can imagine. Yeah, it was a big challenge. It was kind of a surprise. I was finishing up the stuff on Cyrano, and I like, got this audition, and I suddenly, like, in the next week, I was in Australia quarantining, and. That's when I just watched all the documentaries. I was listening to all this music. Bass sent me a guitar. I started picking at the guitar, you know. Um, but it was—it's a—it's a real honor. It's like it's—it. I mean, I feel really. I just can't believe it. You know what I mean? I would have never thought I'd get to do that. So yeah. it's cool. And you're doing Chevalier. Is it Chevalier yes. as well? You're doing. I mean, going BB King, Cyrano, Chevalier. It must be must be fun to be doing what you're doing right now. Yes. I mean, I listen. I'm doing the biopic. I'm playing Jean Michel Basquiat later this year, and I'm just like, I'm just going through the lists of, of. Amazing. You're playing basket as well? Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. My goodness me. No, it's cool. It's downhill after that, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I'm in my 27th year, but we're going to be all right. Yeah, you'll be fine. <laughs> Love to talk to you. Pleasure as always. Thank you so much, man. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey!